so here it is. Here we are tonight right here at Digital Fight Club as part of Dallas Startup Week. Now, this year's fighters are top DFW company founders from diverse backgrounds who will verbally spar on disruptive topics from the metaverse all the way to supply chain. Let's find out their pre-fight perspective, shall we? We're talking to one of the refs. What's your name? Hello, what's your name? Nancy Flores, and I'm from McKesson. We bonded before we got on camera about our shoes. Cameron, can we get our shoes here? The taupe shoes. Okay, see, taupe, that's right. And you had a perfect quote about supply chains regarding shoes and medical supplies. Absolutely. If McKesson can deliver quality products to the health system of the U.S. to help address and improve the lives of patients, we should be able to get shoes that we want to every consumer in our supply chain. Can we get that officially put somewhere? All right, we got another ref in the house. What's your name and the name of your company? Holly Bredis, uh, Chief Digital Officer at Fossil Group. What is that, CDO? CDO. I feel like there's so many C's now, I'm like, okay, they're just made up acronyms, but that's like legit. It's, uh, it's a new one. I'm repping brand transparency, and there's a lot about that. There's a lot that brands are not doing. There's a lot brands are doing. Um, I'm, I'm really curious to hear what the, what the participants have to say tonight. Okay, I've got a ref with me. What's your name and the name of your company? Uh, it's Sharon Loda from Toyota. Is this your first time refing? First time. First time. Okay, do you know which topic you are refing? Cybersecurity. What's your tactic as far as refing goes? Honestly, I'm here to listen to the arguments. If I need to regulate, I'll regulate. If not, try to ask some stumper questions to these people. That's it. My name is Taylor Shedd, and I'm the CEO of Stimuli Studios. We are the first company in the entire world to launch a game-based learning metaverse with a large public school district. It happens to be here in, in Dallas, in Dallas ISD. Your topic that you are fighting slash debating tonight is the metaverse. Uh, do you know who your opponent is? Yeah, it, it's this, this guy named Dan Ferguson. How do you feel like you're going to take him down? So um, he wants to debate about whether the government should build a metaverse or corporation should. So I just feel like this is just already a drop the mic moment that I'm going to win because when has the government ever built any of our innovative technologies? All right, girl, I think you got this. Uh, Dan Ferguson, one of the co-founders of Groove Jones. We do a lot of digital content and uh, Web 3.0 and uh, emerging technology content creation. Well, I'm going to be debating about the uh, metaverse. I will say I just spoke with your opponent. Host. Ooh, did I just stir the pot? I think I did. Cameron Golly, and I'm with The Runway. The Runway, and what does The Runway do? The Runway is the platform for the next generation of consumer brands. We think the future of ratings and reviews is actually feedback. So Gen Z and millennials actually don't want to just give a one and five star review or just put something out there in the ether. They actually want to give feedback to help brands create better products. So we're creating a short form video review platform. So that makes sense that your fight topic tonight is brand consumer transparency. Right. Now, do you know who your opponent is? I do, Bill Cochran tonight. So he's like the OG creative director from Richards Group and now at Lerma. And the guy's built some amazing brands. So I'm excited, like Bill's a badass. Uh, I'm Bill Cochran, I'm with the Lerma Agency. Ooh, what do y'all do? Ads. What is the topic that you are debating tonight? We are talking about brand transparency. Okay, so I talked to your opponent, Cameron. I have been studying this for a couple of hours. So I'm ready to, I'm ready to bring the hammer on brand transparency. I will say I, this kind of makes me scared for Cameron. I believe in you, ads. We have two fighters for the same topic on the same stage. Gentlemen, let's get your names first. Chris Hanebeck, founder and CEO of Truckle. Okay. Brad Nichols, Automatize. Okay, and what do either of your companies do? We'll start first with you. We do software for trucking. We have an automation platform for oil and gas, logistics. How do you feel about, you know, debating this guy over here? About which one? Oh my goodness, well how do you feel? What are you saying? Who? Who? This guy? What's gonna be your angle in taking each other down? First, let's start with you. Logic, reason, and emotion. Lots of drama. Automation, no emotion. I don't believe them. I think they're throwing us all off. All right, I'm Chris Robinson, uh, co-founder of Clearest. 
Clearest? What does Clearest do? So Clearest, we actually help companies become more sustainable and act on ESG and sustainability initiatives. Which makes sense because your fight topic tonight is sustainability, profitability, and growth. Now, do you know who the person you're sparring against is? Yeah, it's Eddie. So what's the key to taking Eddie down? Uh, beat him up with facts and data and uh, maybe some charm, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Eddie Badrina with Eden Green. E okay, and what do you guys do? Uh, so we uh, do vertical farming within greenhouses. So we're bringing farms all the way from Salinas Valley and Yuma, Arizona, right next door to the people. So how do you feel like you're going to take down Chris tonight? I think he's got his head in the clouds. I mean, he's a fighter pilot, so that's where they belong. But, uh, but we've got our feet in the ground, planted, right? Nice pun. David Malkut, I'm with Contra Force. Force is right. Like, okay, you walked up to me and you're like, I'm part of the fight. I'm like, I, evidently you are. This is amazing. Okay, which is I love. This is an intimidation tactic because you truly look like you could kick someone's butt. Well, a uh, long time ago I was in the Marine Corps, so that tends to help a little bit. I think it, it follows through even when you're 20 years later. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, being able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody and look them in the eye, uh, it goes right along with it. But also, you got to get the crowd in there. You have to win the crowd. Your uh, debate topic is cybersecurity, and I don't know if you know who your opponent is. Yes, Andrew. I kind of led him down a path a little bit of where I was going, and I totally changed it after the fact. So he doesn't know what's coming at him. Andrew Hopkins from Privacy Chain. Privacy Chain, which makes sense that your topic of debating tonight is cybersecurity. How do we feel about this? I feel great. Okay, do you know who you are up against? Yes, uh, David. How do we feel about David? So he knows more about it, but I have a point of view, and I'm going to win. I used to be the head ref for about four years when I was at Accenture. Now I've left, and now I'm fighting, and I know how serious we all take it. It's fun, but we all want to win, so I'm in this. Andrew, I love this tactic. I know exactly who to bribe.